Hi. <clears throat> How are you? Oh, you're on mute. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not used to. So on Zoom, when I'm on Zoom, I don't need my headset. But on, when I'm on <laughs> when I'm on Teams, uh, for whatever reason, I can't seem to get it to work. So, girl, I would um I would be the one that like took it off mute and uh and you know just had it automatically leave me off mute when I'm on there and then I would say something. <laughs> You know, done that like oops yeah <laughs> oh, that. who's there yeah exactly uh marcus boyd i want you to know is an autism activist who is a 13 grammy winner uh music artist and he follows me i've met him uh in a sex trafficking event uh for a girl that was missing yeah so i obviously i was ping and robert say get online check him out look at who we're talking to um, I sure hope I never come across as being some bossy old lady that just, okay. you're like, I am. It's like, we got to go guys. Let's do this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we love you at the end of the day. It's like, we got to get it done, but it is, it's done now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah. He's here. Hi, Marcus. Oh, he probably can't hear me yet. Oh, it's still waiting for audio. I there you how's go. Everybody, how's everybody doing? Good. Not, how are you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's an honor to meet everybody. Yes, ma'am. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Wonderful. Marcus, um, this is Lisa, Miss Lisa Wood. And we're yes, um, we're not positive yet, but hopefully, um, I, I don't know, Bobby Joe Bell, we're hoping that he comes on, but I know that he's very, very busy right now as well. He, he is trying to log in. Perfect. So Marcus, while we're waiting, I just want to share with you who we are and what we're doing so you understand. Um, I'm not going to go into the full realm because I'll be honest with you, um, we have so much going on, it becomes very overwhelming to myself when I speak to people. I just watch people's face and they're like, oh my God, you said so many things and it's just so <laughs> overwhelming. So I just want to make sure that you understand. Okay. Uh, I'm just letting uh, Bobby Joe Bell in. I think I just let him in. I hope I did. Yeah, he said he's. I don't know what just happened. It said that I, got... I was checking in. All right, hold on. Let me send him. <laughs> it's okay. So, Lisa, while you're working with Bobby, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell Marcus so he's filled in. Yes. You guys heard it so many times. So, I've been around since 2011. Uh, with our nonprofit, but I worked in the restaurant industry, so I was never able to do this full time. COVID happens. Now I can do full time. I left my job. My son is 19, almost 20. He went through the whole system. We were diagnosed at six. I saw the signs at two and a half. I created this 16 program prenatal till the end of life project based on every mistake that I made as a parent. And I did not want families to have to go through what, what we went through to get help for their child or to show the ability of their child. Um, there's so many things that my son can do. If I wasn't the mom that took the time, he would have done nothing. And that's what we're seeing happen all over the world. You know this, I'm preaching to the choir. I wrote music. Um, I played music by ear after I came home from church. I would play the music on the piano. And my dad's like, he's a um, he's a band director. So he was like, do that again, do that again. And I would play the songs that I heard. And um, I wrote my first song and had it um, copy wrote in um, with ASCAP in um, in 2000. And I don't know, not even 2000, 1984, three. It was about my boyfriend. That's what I wrote about. Um, and he was a jerk, so I wrote a song about him. <laughs> and uh, it, it's something that I still play today. And But you know what? Um, long story short, I didn't know that my boyfriend, who was a jerk, was dealing with uh, paranoid schizophrenia and bipolar. And he was severe by 27 years old. I married this man. And he was very abusive. I learned a lot. So I took all of my education and my you know, 52 years of life and put it in a mixing bowl and created Sounds of Autism. 
We serve everything from prenatal to the end of life. Our phase one is survival. We start teaching survival to college students and they go boots on the ground and help us find families and resources for our families. This is part of their volunteer hours. And we do that because there's a lot of resources out there, but when you go to them, they're not doing anything to help. And there's a lot of resources that are really good out there. So we're taking the good, leaving the bad. We're teaching the bad how to get better because we can't lose anybody in this world uh, when it comes to the needs of help. Uh, we have a lot of mental and behavioral health people that could do a better job. They just don't know how. We're teaching them that. I have 30 years of business. I help run multiple restaurants all over, the, starting in Chicago and came out to Arizona. And so I built this uh, plan. Um, I built it um you know like a restaurant concept so every time we have a new um person coming on um we teach them how to run california we teach them how to run illinois and michigan wherever they are and then we just mentor them with our program everything we do is virtual and uh bobby joe bell came on with lisa this year um he has a story of his own it's an amazing story and he is a music artist in the music business as well. He did um, rock and roll for a while. He did a bunch of different genres, but he loves country. He wrote a song called Raise Your Hands to ASD and a line dance, and he's going to do the world's largest, longest line dance in the state and nationally, and he wants to be in the Book of World Records. That's his way of getting things out there, yes. And what I love about it is that his story is because of his daughter, and he almost lost his life, and he didn't have a plan for her. And he said that day was life changing for me because I had to go into surgery and I didn't know if I was coming out and I didn't have a plan for my daughter. And now today he has a plan. And so he said, Cricket, I'm going to run a nonprofit. I'm going to do this. And I was like, well, we already started a nonprofit. We've been doing this 11 years. Why would you reinvent the wheel? Just go sing and we'll help you do everything else. Right? So he said, mm -hmm. okay. So Gila River, which is Staples Center, uh, the owners of Gila River, good friend of mine, uh, manager, not even owners. He met Bobby Joe Bell and he said, okay, I'm going to have you come out and you'll do the longest line dance here in our venue. And we have 52 other venues throughout the United States that you can go do this in and travel. But we just have to go find sponsors, you know, to get the first one going. So he has the venue. He has everything. We're just, you know, now we're finding our funding people and those are starting to happen. And then once he does this tour, uh, people will know who Sounds of Autism are. Uh, they'll know who Bobby Joe Bell is, and he'll be under our umbrella doing the music side of things, meeting other artists like yourself. And we would like to create something kind of like the America's Got Talent type thing, where mm -hmm. people like you and Bobby Joe Bell and people in the music industry can come together and we go out and find these talents in the community and let's find the next best artist. Let's find the next best this or that and put them in there. And, um, you know, he has a, a recording studio. He's had a lot of big record labels come in and record with him. You have a lot of power of that influence, you know, being able to put these kids in front of somebody and showing the talents instead of showing the just like, I'm tired of disability. Let's focus on ability and let's focus on bringing these, there he is, bringing these people into our world and showing that a unified world, if we all have the same messaging, is when everybody closes their eyes and they do what they need to do without any type of opinion. Without Which judgment is, or whatever. I, our heart tells us do this and we do it. So this is Bobby Joe Bell. This is Marcus Boyd. Um, both of you guys, I met you both at two different ends of the spectrum, but you both do the exact same thing. You bring awareness through your, your music. Uh, Marcus, please introduce yourself to Bobby Joe Bell and, and his real, we call him Robert, but Bobby Joe Bell is his stage name. And Lisa, if you would share, because I know your story, but they don't, and I would like them to know that. Um, hi, I'm hey. Marcus Leonardo Boyd. I am, I have autism. I am an autism activist. Um, I am, um, I own a clothing line, a shoe line. I'm a professional DJ. Um, I now have a coloring book. I'm about to have an autobiography book. I have a short film. We're about to turn it into a TV series for autism. Um, I didn't start speaking until I was 13, 13 and a half at a two year old level. Um, I got diagnosed April 12th, 1993. I was 10. Um, I'm about to be 40. Um, I mean, I've been in foster homes, group homes, mental institutions, inpatient, outpatient, 
electrical shock therapy. I mean, it, I mean everything from bullying to abuse to treatments to pills to Ritalin, Paxil, Depakote, 500 to 1,000 milligrams. I mean, I done did it all. Right. <laughs> you know I mean, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, I realized almost five years ago, it's not about me. It's about helping um, change these laws and these rights and these and, and invent new programs for autism families, not just in America, but worldwide. Right. So the future generation who will be able to benefit from this stuff. And that's why, you know, I created Autism Music Fest. So I just created it this year, which will be the first ever three day music festival for every special needs community. We're going to bring them together. I mean, and it's, it's almost like a special needs will stop. Century State, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be stuff for adults, teenagers, kids, activities, vendors, performances, and everything else. I think that, you know, what you're doing, um, Mr. Robert, is incredible. And hats off to you and your work you. um, and your amazing story um, with your child and stuff of that nature. I think for me, you know, I don't advocate because, you know, I... Um, researched it or I have a child that has autism. I have autism. So I already know. I grew up with it. I know the ins and outs, what not to do, what yeah. you do. Um and, and a lot of times when I go to these right. state capitals, they don't have nobody voicing our for us. They have an advocate who does research right. or something right. of that nature. They don't have nobody right. speaking for us. No, they don't. So the thing is I'm gonna speak for us. And and as I'm speaking for us, I'm going to create opportunities for us to be able to enjoy and do and, and help each other out and stuff of that nature. I used to live in Arizona. I used to live in Tucson. And I was working um, with um, Alice, Alice Cooper and his foundation in Phoenix right. and stuff like that. I mean, I was at the Dream Church and stuff like that. I mean, you know, the, and Rock the Spectrum that's in Phoenix and in Tucson. I mean, yeah. Um, but you know the thing is, is um, I agree with Miss Cricket. We have to come together and unite. I don't care what type of music it is. What, what, what? Who got the message? Let's all just stand behind that person and let's unite because autism is bigger than all of us. Yes, I agree, hundred percent, man. Well, first off, thank you, man. I mean, I I know all too well, you know how difficult it is um, explaining to people exactly what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they don't get it. You know, they don't understand, hey, this is not about me. This is not about, the, it's about the people getting together as a families and, and trying to help people because you didn't have help. I didn't have help with my daughter, you know, so it's one of them deals where, man, I, 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 every day I prayed, hey, send somebody to me, you know, for my daughter. And finally, she got some help, but it doesn't change the fact that it doesn't go away. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest thing is, you know, some people, I think some people mis, misconstrued the fact that they think it's just something that's going to happen. It's going to go away. It doesn't work that way. This is something you got to deal with the rest of your life and you have to be able to deal with it on a, on, a, on a basis that doesn't hurt you, puts you in a bad place, but most importantly, makes you feel comfortable because you can't, you can't progress farther if you don't feel comfortable, you know, and dude, very blessed to, to have met you because I tell you what, that's, that's very impressive. I mean, you're a bad boy. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, I, I'm from East St. Louis originally. Uh, that's where my family's from. My, my mom's from, from East St. Louis. My dad's from Kentucky. And so I grew up uh, kind of in the hood, in, in the city, and then I, in the country. So they call me hoodneck in some aspects. It's kind of funny, you know. But, <laughs> but the point is, is that, um, you know, I'm very diversified when it comes to music. I, I have a studio here. We do hip-hop, country rock, desert reggae. We do everything here. I, I engineer and produce myself as well. Love all types of music. And you're exactly right. It's not about one genre of music. It's about bringing everybody together. Um, the, the, the song that I wrote has got 27 different artists on it. It's got hip-hop, mm. country, rock, pop everything on it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you listen to it, you'll, you'll hear hip hop artists in the background, I mean, it's, it's nuts, you know? And I did that for a reason to bring people together because we have to, you know, and dude, mm. wow, very, very impressed with, uh, with you <laughs> very much. You know what I'm, you know what I'm thinking next year, let's, um, and y'all, y'all in Arizona? Yeah. 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 Well, let's, let's bring Autism Music Fest to Arizona. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's get councilmen, let's get mayors and city and state, city councilmen and Senate involved and let's bring Autism Music Fest to Arizona and let you and let you host it. Okay. Let your line dance be a part of it and let your and let um sounds of autism be the main focus because that needs to be the main organization 
yes. that people in Arizona give um, donations to. Right. And I mean, and where are you, Marcus? I'm in I'm in Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> what part? Little Rock. Little Rock. Okay, I played there many a times. <laughs> yeah, Rock. you don't get no more country than this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's and fun. you have a you have a beautiful fiance. Your whole Thank life you so changing. much. I know. You know, I met Marcus at a, an event um, in in Arizona for the girl that was lured out of her home and sex trafficked. Right. Um, and you know, that's one of the things that we focus on. But Marcus, we go one city at a time with our students, and right now we're north and west. So what we do is our students, our college students, we give them a 10 step simulated process where they go and pretend like they're like a parent of a child with autism and they go and meet with mayor, city council, police departments, educational leaders, resource centers, and they share all these things with them to see who responds. And the people that don't answer the phone, they don't call back, they deny us, whatever. They come back and they rate them, A, B, or C, good, right. bad, or ugly. And once we get those ratings, we go back to these cities and we say, this is what you got. It's, and then they say, oh boy, right? It's yeah. called accountability. Now we do this not to be mean because we need everybody, right? We do this because we want to show people if you're going to be a leader, then you need to lead. Otherwise move out of the way because we need to find somebody that's going to do this. So we have out of, uh, now it's 27, including rural uh, military bases and tribal lands, we have like over 23 cities. And just this year, we were donated land, 40 acres of land to build something. And so we're working right now on building a university. And this university would be something where kids transition from high school to adult life, and they would start our curriculum way early. So we start practicing life skills, job skills, independent living skills, survival skills. So if somebody like Alicia is pulled out of her house, she knows exactly what to do. She knows not to leave her house because we do that much educational training. These parents are all working part-time, you know, full-time job, three jobs. They have every, like, I just had somebody I went to high school with. He said, Cricket, I'm an alcoholic and I've been in survival for many, many years, I keep going back. He goes, but I've been watching you for the last 11 years and you actually changed my life. And I was like, what? I go, are you autistic? He's like, no. He goes, I'm an alcoholic. He goes, but your passion to serve and help people made me change. And he goes, I can tell you I'm blessed. And, and for two years I've been recovering. And he goes, I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm like, oh my God, we're helping people that don't even have autism. We're just changing the, the narrative for a unified platform. So anyway, this responder community that we're trying to create in Yavapai is 40 acres. It would be everything from learning to live together, work together. Um, I can show you the, the vision on a different day because we'll be here all day otherwise. And um, I want to show you where we're headed because where you're at in Arkansas, you could become one of our um, our advocates, you know, there, but we can turn around and do the exact same thing for you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what unified is, is you created a platform that we feel very comfortable supporting and vice versa. And we would love for, you know, that same kind of, you know, commitment from you, but I know you're busy, you know, so I don't expect anything. We just want listen, you to use your voice. Listen, at the, at the end of the day, you give me a t-shirt that says sounds of autism and, and, and some flyers and some brochures and I'm passing them out. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, I've been in Arkansas five months. So I don't know nobody here, but the city council knows my name. And I had meetings with them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. At the end, at the end of the day, I don't care where I'm at, they're going to know my name. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so you give me a t shirt, let's get some brochures mailed to me, and let's get it, let's get it going. I don't care how busy I am. Well, I, I don't know if Cricket has mentioned to you at all. Um, the concert series you mentioned it to them at all, Cricket? Yeah. Okay. So, so there's sixty there's sixty uh, arenas in, in the country that uh, that, that we, we have the capability of doing concerts in for, for national acts and, and funding, you know, sounds of autism. Raise your hands in the song of one yards. But we break the state record every, in every city if we can. Doesn't doesn't mean we have to break the world record. We can break the state record in every city, and we can all come together again. Either way, it's going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the line dance. I actually told you the line dance actually is for that reason. 
you know, to, to go to different places. We can go across the country. And if, if Little Rock, I think Little Rock's got an ASM Global Arena there, which is, if that's the yeah, case. That's yeah, we just passed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. It's a big one. If that's the case, then, and dude, we can work together on this and build this huge in Little Rock. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to go there next. We're going to go to Texas. We're going to go to Oklahoma. We're going to go to St. Louis. We're going to go everywhere we possibly can, all 60 arenas across the country that's going to benefit, you know, the, um, the charity. You know, I mean, and that's the whole point is, is to, so we can fund ourselves, you know, and make, and make sure this works. And Marcus, are you a nonprofit? Well, I'm working my PR and stuff. We're working on that. One step at a time. I got you. <laughs> but we're working on that. But um, I, I think, again, this is why I wanted to do Autism Career Days. So they can see, just like you said, learn how to work together and stuff so they can see successful people that have autism. Yes. Because if they're not, if they're not seeing us, then how would, what, they're only going to see the rappers and singers and ball players and football players that they see on TV. So they're going to think that's what success is. And, right. and they, those people may not have autism. You right. understand what I'm saying? So yeah. if they see somebody with autism that's successful, it might make them want to do a little bit more. And then, too, here's another thing. Even if I went to these arenas with y'all and just started seeing encouraging stuff, how I support y'all and how they should support the sounds of autism and stuff of that nature, because it's not every day that you get somebody that's, you know, you know, I have autism. But I still was nominated for seven Grammys. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. that's a that's a different ball game. You understand what I'm Thank saying? You. Now you got somebody like that on your team. Yes. You know what? And you're exactly right. I mean, that's the biggest thing for, for me here is that when I wrote the song, like I said, this has never been done before. So it's kind of crazy. Nobody's ever given a song to charity for the rest of its life. Never been done. Not like this. And we got a dance that goes with it. So we're talking about a whole thing. And it, 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 it's a it's a great thing. And you're right, man. I mean I'm very blessed and amazed. I say that because I look at you and say, my daughter is going to be good. You said she's 10 years old. She's very smart. She's very intelligent. Yep. And she, is uh, she verbal? Yes, she's verbal. You know, she's a spinner. She does, you know, everything, you know. And so it's what I'm going to see her this week, actually. The point is, though, is that, you know, people need to see uh, if all you see is the this result, you don't see the happiness of it. OK, all this work that a child's got to go through to get to where you're at right now never gets seen it's always that they don't show that you know what i'm saying that they don't have any of that stuff going on so that that's a that's a very brave number one very brave man and number two very important thing that that you have which is awesome man very impressed yeah well it's about i mean i mean music for me saved my life like the restaurant industry saved miss cricket's life right. you know when she was doing it and stuff of that nature um it it was it was simply I was in Atlanta and nobody, nobody understood me. I was nonverbal. I couldn't speak. I couldn't spell. I couldn't write. I couldn't, I couldn't do right. anything. Right. But I could right. play, I can play the wooden flute, the clarinet. I can play the trombone. So music became my language. It became something that nobody didn't say. You can't sit here. You can't right. eat. You slop, you slob it on yourself. You're using the bathroom on yourself. So they didn't say that when they heard my music. It became cool with them to hang out with me. It's universal. That's one thing we all have in common. I don't care what's, I don't care where you're at in the world, where you come from, if you have autism, if you're just, it doesn't matter what you have. We have all one thing in common that is music. And, and, that, and, and that soothes the soul, soothes, it soothes everyone. I'm, I'm a writer myself, brother. It, 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 it's, you're exactly right. People don't understand. A thousand years from now, when we don't matter, that song will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and we have a responsibility to make sure it gets to the right people and get the right things. A lot of artists don't do that. It's all about me, 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 me. They're not giving back to the world. You know, you, you they don't understand it. If we all can't, if all the musicians came together, just imagine if all of us came together and said, we're going to make a difference and change the world. We could easily do it with a song. Sure. With a song. So Robert, I don't know, Marcos, I don't know if Marcus understood, I don't know if we shared with Marcus that you have signed over the royalties oh, of this okay. song. Okay. So yeah, what I did, man, was I, um, I wrote the song. Uh, July last year and started writing it and then I now it's done and I released it March 10th right now we got 32,000 views on YouTube um, as, as of today actually it, went, it hit 32,000 and all the proceeds for that song for the rest of its life goes to charity it, it's going to go to mm. South Baltimore it's going to go to Raise Your Hands Inc. it's going to go to people that we decided to go to because we want to help people because these people aren't getting the money from the right places these people are not cricket knows they're not putting the money in the places that they need to be 
you know, the families are suffering, you know, they're getting money for a child and not doing the work to get the money. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just ridiculous. And I, I believe that this song, if it goes, I'm hoping and praying, man, all the things are lining up. This song could, could just change the, the lives of millions and millions of people. A because family. number one, we're going to come together. We, we can all dance together. We can all dance together. We can all sing together. Well, listen, I, I'm trying to be there for the video shoot. And you know what it would be crazy is it'd be super dope if you do a video per state. A different video per state because a lot of people ain't gonna be able to come to the video shoot yes, when they live yes. in another state. Right. But if you're traveling, if you're traveling, you might as well shoot a video per state and allow to allow these people to be involved in the video, line dancing and all this other stuff. And this is a great way again to push the sound of autism. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess this song would be the theme song for this organization. So yes. if this is the theme song for this organization, then Every performance, every concert or whatever, they already know when they coming in paying to get in this concert to see this song or whatever, they already know some of their money's going to the sound of autism. It's yes. to help build and strengthen and give more children a chance with this program. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly right, man. It, it's, it's very important. I mean, the good thing about it is this, is that the song itself. Have you heard the song? Not yet, just, but I'm going to as soon as I get off the phone. <laughs> I'm going to as okay, soon as I get off the phone. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's got it's got beat makers in it from you know you know Crass School of uh, Music here in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. All my interns at my studio are all from Crass. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and, and matter of fact, I got a session going on right now with with one of my with, with one of my engineers who I actually hired after Crass. But anyway, the point is, is that we got people from Crass on it. We got beat makers on that song. It, dude, it's a poppy. You, you're gonna when you hear it, you're like, okay, it, it, it fits to whatever, what everybody. You're gonna like it. You know what because, he's gonna do with it, Bobby Joe. You know what he's gonna do with it. He's gonna take it and go, okay, let me put some Marcus beats in there, and then all of a sudden it's gonna do whatever be you want to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to do. I mean, actually, actually, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a speaker. So anytime y'all doing a concert or whatever, anytime I can come. And yes. push the narrative of this song and sounds of autism. That's that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, again, there's a lot of good charities out there and stuff. I'm just for the autism family. I don't really believe in organizations. I believe in autism families because they the ones that suffer more. Right. But I'm not saying the organizations don't do well. Autism yeah. speaks, all that good stuff. Not saying they don't help. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm for the family. That's it. Here's here's my biggest thing, brother. Is this. I decided from the beginning that this was gonna to go to the families. I'm not trying to find a cure. I don't care about a cure. You spend billions of dollars over there doing what you do, pay your CEOs, do what you do. That is perfect, okay? But over here, we're gonna help the families. We're gonna make sure that, that a family can get resources to make sure things happen. Because right now there's none. I got, I'm talking to people at every single one of my shows. That's somebody they either know or if somebody's in their family's got autism, they have no direction, no idea where to go. I'm throwing them crickets, you know, sounds of autism, website constantly you know i mean i mean every single day i'm playing it happens you know because they see that you know we're, we're focusing on you know at our shows we have big banners as you know you know raise your hands ink you know line dancing song with, with sounds about this do you have a website for that do you What's have that? a website for, do you have a website for your song yes like people go on your website and yes. then they can purchase the single and stuff cool Yes. So what I want to do is enable and hyperlink because my PR and, them and my team is working on my website. Okay. So I want to be able to hyperlink your website. So when they click on your single, it goes directly to your website. I okay. want to put your single on my website. You understand right. what I'm saying? Okay. I haven't even heard it yet, but, you know, I stand with cricket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right now, but uh, you, you, you will like the song. I, I've had, I had one. No, I know. I, I mean, I'm not saying I won't. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I won't. Because, yeah. you, I mean, I, you know, I mean, the whole... The school, the interns and stuff. I was supposed to go there when I was leaving the Tucson. It's a long story. But okay, got you. okay. <laughs> long story. But I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. But right. I, I love what you're doing. I love what Chris is doing and stuff of that nature. And anything I can do to help push it forward. Okay. Period. Because that's what it is. It's the sound of autism. It's, it's music. And <laughs> that's just what it is. And just, Marcus, just let I you know. Actually... Marcus, I actually put raiseyourhandsinc.com in the chat okay. for, you, for you to cut and paste. 
Okay, cool. Okay, I'm, 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 a, um, I'm gonna tell Cricket to Facebook me that because I'm gonna send it to my PR and then tell them to put that on my website. Absolutely. So. Well, I mean, the, the biggest thing is this, is that, you know, the next time, okay, if you, if you need a studio recording, bro, let me know. Okay, anytime you want to record, you let me know. Listen, don't don't tell me with a good time because I'm, yeah. I'm I'm don't don't tell <laughs> please don't tell me you know, with got, a good time. Just to give you an instance, I, I got Slate Raven technology, all touch screen. I've got I got a full production studio here. And you where? I'm in I'm in Phoenix. He's in Mesa. I'm Mesa. Mesa. Yeah, I'm catching I'm, I'm because actually a guy named Kenneth Mills wants me to speak at his um school it's called STEM in mm -hmm. Phoenix. They yes. there's a school for autism. Yes. So he wants me to speak at his school, Kenneth Mills. So right. I'm gonna kill two birds in one stone. I'm gonna speak at his school and I'm coming to your studio, okay? There you go. <laughs> hey, if you want somebody to represent you, let me know. I'll go with you. That's not a problem, please. I don't like going by myself. I got you. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. <laughs> That's not a problem. Marcus, I'm gonna send you, I'll send you everything. I'll send you the link to their website, our website, okay. uh, Bobby Joe's song. Um, and I'm also going to send you some PowerPoints that you can listen to instead of having to watch visually that'll tell you exactly how we are doing this uh, from prenatal till the end of life. So you understand when you're talking about Sons of Autism, these are all the things that we can do to help the families. We have everything from planning funerals, money management, setting up special needs trust, everything. Wow. Yeah, I told you 11 years we've been working on this. So we're ready to launch. But when I saw what you were doing, at first, I didn't know how deep into it you were, and I didn't want to overwhelm you. But then I kept watching, and I'm like, this guy, you are making beats every day. You're doing stuff. Like, you are in it. And I love it yeah. because um, music writing is a passion that I've always had, but I never sang. And I'm taking singing lessons, but it's going to take some time. Uh, but I think you have it. He has it. Like, Bobby Joe Bell has it why not utilize the artists that already did something and just get behind them and, and bring them underneath us and, and let's just do it together. And that's what we're doing. So we will give the solutions to people to help those families. So you don't have to worry when they're coming to you and crying that they don't have answers. We'll do that. You guys just keep going out there and selling everything you do so that when you do it, uh, um, those families know they have a place to go and it's a safe place and a trusted place because you promoted that. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, listen, listen. I got an Emmy Award winning film director here in Little Rock that's about to do an interview and a documentary on me. So again, a t-shirt will kind of work with me wearing the Sound of Autism t-shirt and I can talk about your organization and I can put your website out there on this documentary. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A free promotion. You understand what I'm tell saying? Me it's your size. I need your size. I'm a four X. I'm a four X. I'm a big guy. I'm hey, Marcus, tough. Marcus, what do you think, bro? Look, this is the studio. I'm coming. I'm coming. You don't gotta show me nothing else. I'm coming. Yeah. You don't gotta show me nothing else. I'm coming home. So I got PlayStation. Home. I got PlayStation over there and I got Xbox over there. I'm an Xbox <laughs> head. I'm coming home. I'm, I'm an Xbox head. I'm coming. Yeah, <laughs> Here's a vocal boost. Well, see, I'm a gospel rapper, right? I've been doing gospel rap for years. So yes. <laughs> I'm coming home. <laughs> there you go, brother. It's time. It's time for me to come home. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Marcus, we're going to do open mic, and um, Bobby Joe Bell is going to perform. His band and him are going to perform at our walk. It's in November. It's November 6th, I believe it is, 9 to 12 yes. at Peoria Sports Complex. Okay. If you can be here. We would love to have you. Um, and if you do come, we would love for you to perform. That's your decision. No, I will speak. I'm a speaker. Okay. <laughs> I'm a speaker. No rapping. No rapping. No, only on by only on wax. Only on wax. Not not yeah, no okay. performing live. Okay. <laughs> I'm old. You know what I mean? Nobody wanna hear no old rapper. <laughs> Nobody hey, wanna hear you know what? You you'd be amazed, my friend. You'd be amazed. I think you'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I teach people all the time how to perform from, from 21 to 50. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, you need to teach me. Yeah, yeah, so I'm big, I get <laughs> I out of breath. Yeah, I know how it works. Yeah, it's done, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So Marcus, do you have any questions for us? No, I like what y'all stand for and I like what y'all do. And again, um, 
I don't know if y'all connected with the Allison Cooper Foundation that's in Phoenix. Okay, and so how they teach, well, you know, so they I'm teach not, 100 not, kids, you know yeah. what I'm saying? About I'm God. Here. And, I'm not, so I'm not music. from here. I, I've been here since 2014, okay, since I moved here. I started playing again two years ago after I had my surgery because I almost died. And I, I don't think you know that story behind all that. And so I, I've been going full force ever since my surgery last year. And I've been trying to get contact Alice Cooper's people to talk to him directly. I keep getting this him around. He, oh, you talk to this guy. Well, that's great. I met Alice Cooper years ago in Minnesota at, at a golf at a golf um, charity. Him and Jesse Body mm -hmm. Venture, a bunch of different people. You know, so I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I've talked to the guy one on one, but here it's like it's like pulling teeth to get anybody to get, get you a direct number. You might have to go to his church or I mean his music studio. I did that. That's, you already yeah. went there? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. I, I've been to his studio and I also was at his school too, the has. Well, I'm gonna try to find Rodney's number. Okay. That's his that's one of his point of contacts. Okay. So um his name I'm gonna try to find his name his number for you. And when I find it, I'll give it to the cricket and okay. then y'all take it from there because it's it's only it will only make sense. It right. won't it won't make sense. And then, and then too, I mean, are y'all connected with the Dream Church? Did y'all do something with them? Not yet, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, I mean, that church is so huge. They got, I mean, but you might want to connect with them. So what, what is a Dream Church? Explain is, to me. Marcus, is that where I went to, to the event? Yeah, you was at the biggest, yo, yeah, you was at the Dream Church. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to Jessica so, and I'll get the information. Yeah, that's for you. <laughs> yeah, because if I tell her, Jessica, do you come with us and she'll get us in the doors and then we'll, whatever we do, we will always, always 100% put that picture of her daughter up on the screen or do something to help 100%. Yeah, she can get you through the door. Jessica, y'all, yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> okay. We'll do that. That's awesome. Marcus, I, I think we just for... need your brain. Like, we just need you to tell us, like, do this and, and try that because we're trying, but we're so busy, all of us. We're trying to, you know, raise families and do, you understand, I'm preaching to the choir. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I do understand. I, I do. I, I, Lord knows, I do. My my significant other, she gets on me. I do. <laughs> yeah. But you got to do stop, it. Do I know you. you want to. You want to change everybody's life and save their lives, you know, and that's what you're looking at. And, um, but you know, as much as we can support you, or you, you want to be a part of what we're doing, you know, your the the door is always open for you. And I know you have a lot going on already. You probably don't even need us, but <laughs> but you well, know, no, listen, you listen, know, this is not me. This is a community thing. So yeah. I'm gonna always right. need y'all. So this is this is right. a community situation. Uh, matter of fact, there's this guy named Jesse Lavender that lives in Phoenix. His son is the one that was on the news in Phoenix because the teacher did something to him. Oh yeah, that was he was nonverbal. See, I was supposed to come to Phoenix and speak at his court case. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like this is just this just happened like this early this year. Yes. So yes. I'm gonna hit up Mr. Jesse and tell him sounds of autism is right there locally in your area. Right. And they might they're gonna be some good people for you to talk to concerning your son. He's like four or five years old. Yeah. Well, I, I think that, that situation, I, I was at Autistic Speaks, who, somebody stepped in, it was a, a local autistic comp, uh, people, I don't, I don't know who exactly who it was, but stepped in to try to help that situation. I don't know who that is. That was a few, that was a, a few months back, whenever I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was a few yeah. months back, yeah. yeah. Marcus, um, they called Gina, my PR. Gina there you go. Gabby here is, um, she was the um, attorney for Goodyear, uh, prosecuting attorney for Goodyear, and when Alistair, um, one of the people that was Maricopa County attorney, she she resigned because she had an alcohol problem. Um, Gina Gabi here uh, is running for that position and I've helped her. I've helped her get her signatures. I've helped her do everything. I've known her a long time. She works for kids, youth about mental health and, um, and um, um, suicide. So she and I have been working together and I, I said, Gina, when you get this position, because I know she will, um, I would like to meet with you because what I want to do is put together uh, um, a presentation for our judges and our state's attorney, our prosecuting attorneys, all of those people, even the people at the Capitol, everybody needs to hear this. And they need to hear it from us, not from, you know, the people that are writing Advocate, the laws. Exactly. And all the, yeah, they need to hear what we go through and what we're dealing with and the things that we're being done. 
and we talk about leadership, we talk about holding people accountable and doing a good job, all that kind of stuff. When we get to that point, I'm going to let you know, because I would love to have you come back and be a part of that voice. See, Les, listen, I'm there. Okay, listen, listen, I already don't flu. I ain't scared to fly. <laughs> listen. Okay. Not... <laughs> Now, this is going to hang up on all of us because I don't pay for Zoom. So I'm going to have to let all of you go. <laughs> oh, dang it. But Marcus, you know how to reach me. Again, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye, right, man. Bye, Marcus. I'll send you Bye. Bye.